Bill Gates just wrote an opinion piece that he posted to his blog about artificial intelligence titled The Age of AI Has Begun. And in it, he talks about how artificial intelligence has been a dream of the computer industry for decades. And with the arrival of machine learning and large amounts of computer power, sophisticated AI is now a reality. Bill talks about how there's been two revolutionary demonstrations of technology in his lifetime. The first being the graphical user interface that was demonstrated to him in 1980. And the second was watching OpenAI's GPT pass an AP biology exam. And since that day, Bill Gates has been putting his thoughts together about how artificial intelligence is going to change the future. And this week, he posted that long awaited essay to his personal blog. So in this video, I wanna break down the key points for you. Defining artificial intelligence is subjective, but Bill Gates took a stab at it on his personal blog. And he started by separating traditional artificial intelligence from general artificial intelligence. And he defines traditional artificial intelligence, or what we call right now just simply artificial intelligence. And those are defined as the specific models that solve specific problems like chat GPT, which at this point in history is just learning to chat better from feedback, but it's not learning other types of tasks. But he defines artificial general intelligence intelligence as more of an emergent property, where the software itself becomes adaptive and capable and can learn any task from any subject. Now, artificial general intelligence doesn't exist yet, but many in the computing industry are debating how close we are to it. Some believe that it's right around the corner. Others believe that it might not even be possible. In Bill Gates' opinion, it's going to come fairly quickly. He noticed that the early days of the personal computing revolution were small and the software industry was tiny. But in contrast, software is now a global industry with vast resources that are focused on artificial intelligence. And that leads him to believe that the AGI revolution might come sooner rather than later. Bill Gates pointed out in his new blog post that even though humans are better than chat GPT at a lot of things, there are many jobs in the world's economy where these kind of capabilities are just not used very much. For example, document handling tasks like payables, accounting, insurance claim disputes, they require decision-making, but they don't require continuous learning. As computing power becomes more affordable, the models become engineered better and data becomes more abundant. AI capabilities will improve. And if there is a pipeline at Microsoft to push this into all of the existing products, they can quickly upgrade all of these systems. Bill Gates describes this process as co-pilot because the thinking is that the co-pilot will assist with the tasks that we're already doing, things like Word documents and emails and the office suite. Eventually, all of these pieces will fit together so seamlessly that it might as well be a personal agent. Bill Gates imagines it as a simple digital personal assistant, a tool that can help with anything a personal assistant could. So whether that be like scheduling or e-commerce or whatever else you can imagine. And these agents will be integrated into the entire web. So they'll be able to go out there and do much more than just the Microsoft universe. They can go out on the internet, they can make phone calls, they can do anything that a personal assistant in real life could do for you. And from this, he imagines that it will free people to focus on the tasks that software can't do. Think about tasks like teaching and caregiving. In Bill Gates' new op-ed, he talks about how artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize healthcare. He paints a vision for a future where a healthcare worker does the real life things like communicating with the patient, rather than the mundane tasks like filing insurance claims and dealing with paperwork. He also predicts that in low income countries where most of the under five year old deaths occur, AI will help with the shortage of doctors, allowing them to focus on the most important tasks. Through software, artificial intelligence can communicate with many patients at scale, help them with basic triage and help them make informed medical decisions. I'm imagining like chat GPT doctor stuff. Bill Gates also points out that this kind of artificial intelligence will completely transform how long it takes for drug discovery and medical research, especially for those diseases that really affect the poorest people worldwide, like AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. He goes on to imagine how artificial intelligence can analyze vast amounts of biological data. Bill Gates imagines in his new blog post about how what we see as the foundation of artificial intelligence coming into the real world right now will soon evolve into something that has a real impact on the world's food supply. In it, he talks about how farmers in low-income countries might use this technology to actually invent better seeds. 
Now these seeds can actually be customized to the local conditions to grow better than the old ones. The technology can also add as a personal assistant, a guide about how to handle the type of soil that the farmers have, as well as recommendations on how to handle the climate and the weather in that area. Beyond that, the artificial intelligence could be the kind of thing that could understand vast amounts of data about livestock, about insects, understanding essentially a lot of the entire, I guess you'd call it like biosphere that actually is on a farm, the bacteria, all of those things that have been too hard to really quantify or do anything with that data. Artificial intelligence can now take that, turn that into good decisions for a farmer. And that's also why he recommends that governments and philanthropic foundations make a point to build a system where that kind of data can be shared amongst all farmers farmers. You just don't want a future where some of those AI generated insights that maybe can really help one farmer end up in sort of a closed system where the neighbors can't learn from it and people still end up going hungry. Bill Gates thinks that artificial intelligence has the potential to completely revolutionize the way education works in the next five to 10 years. In his blog post, he talks about how artificial intelligence when applied to education can actually be customized and tailored to the exact student, understanding their learning style, their attention spans, and all of the little things that they need to nudge them in the right direction to stay motivated. He thinks that an artificial intelligence will have a good understanding better than any individual teacher about the entire learning cycle. That means understanding where the student is in the learning cycle, where the teacher thinks the student is in the learning cycle, and then actually giving immediate feedback to get everybody on the same page. Bill Gates also warns that artificial intelligence when it's applied to education needs to be trained on a very diverse data set. And that data set needs to be both unbiased, but also reflect the nuances of the culture that it's used in. And because it's digital, it should scale at a low cost, meaning there's no excuse why we can't apply the same technology to the rich countries as the poor countries. Bill Gates also points out that teachers are already adapting to the new technology, which I was like, mm, I think not a lot of them are adapting yet, but I understand where he's coming from. He is right about some examples where, you know, forward thinking teachers have said, okay, students, I know you're gonna use ChatGPT, so just generate your first draft, show me what it is, and then customize it from there. On a personal aside, I do remember reading about a teacher that was actually generating facts about historical figures, giving them to students and saying, find out what's wrong with this. So that's another way to actually learn, like a reinforcement learning, but with a real student. I thought that was cool. But anyways, Bill Gates said he doesn't think that artificial intelligence will ever replace a teacher. It's just going to assist them so the teacher can do the important thing. So even though Bill Gates' recent post on artificial intelligence was overwhelmingly positive, he did point out a lot of concerns about AI and most of them actually weren't that technical. He talks about the strong desire that humans are going to have to use this technology for personal gain, for nefarious reasons, or to crush competitors. And that's why he wants governments and the private sector to work very closely on artificial intelligence to help limit these kinds of risks. And the risk of AI turning into AGI, artificial general intelligence, and getting out of control is a serious risk. Often referred to as super intelligent or strong AI, this is an artificial intelligence that can do everything the human brain can do and more and will be by definition uncontrollable because it will be superhuman. It will be human level brain, but with unlimited computational power able to scale over an entire cloud system and upgrade itself. And if something this powerful has a goal in mind that doesn't align with human interest, that conflict will have one winner and it will not be humanity. Bill Gates points out that with all of the AI that's in the news right now, we're not substantially closer to AGI than we were just months or years ago. It's been a concern for a while. So Bill Gates recently posted an essay to his blog that was very thoughtful about the future of artificial intelligence. So interestingly in it, he talks about a couple books. One of them I actually have over here on my bookshelf, which is Nick Bostrom's book, Super Intelligence. Now the other book that he talks about is from Jeff Hawkins and it is called A Thousand Brains. Between these two books, Bill Gates recommends reading them because they offer thought provoking insight into the future of AI. And to throw in a few more books, here is my bookshelf in the section that's all about artificial intelligence. I have found these to be all fascinating reads. Bill Gates' new op-ed that was posted to his blog called The Age of AI Has Begun 
ends with a series of very bold statements that warn everybody that artificial intelligence is about to change everything. So the majority of this essay was fairly positive. It was all about how farming and teaching and some of the things that we're scared will take our jobs will actually just empower us to be our best selves, our most human. He does warn that the downside to having this much power is the risk of not using it responsibly. So to make the most out of artificial intelligence, Bill Gates says that we need to balance the fears about its downsides with the ability to improve people's lives. And that's why he thinks that right now it's time for the governments to use this kind of technology to help reduce inequality. And finally, Bill Gates makes a big point to say it is time right now. Let's not wait until it's too late to establish some rules and some law about how artificial intelligence should be used responsibly. Because if right now we make sure that this kind of technology is democratized enough, it can lead us to a future where the benefits are equal regardless of where you live or how much money you have. So in summary, Bill Gates' new blog post comes down to understanding that the age of artificial intelligence will be exciting, it will be full of abundance, but it will have a lot of responsibility attached to it. So we better start thinking about that today.